story opens with Lord Sylvester Carnaby, a prominent archaeologist who is a narcissistic man whose life is ruled by his domineering mother. He dislikes talking to her and avoids making eye contact with her. Carnaby is compelled to fulfill his mother's wishes, although his true passion is history. Carnaby is fascinated by antique relics and decides to enter Princess Nefer's tomb. He wants his colleagues to know about the Egyptian princess's mummy, but Princess Nefer's body has vanished. Aside from his narcissism, Carnaby is an extremely intelligent man who sees some form of ancient inscription inscribed on the tomb. He then discovers that the tomb leads to a bridge that connects the living and the dead and opens a portal to the afterlife. Princess Nefer is introduced as a new main character in the plot. While the archaeologist hunts for her body, she wants to flee the archaic and monotonous world of the afterlife. Nefer sneaks out of her castle and roams the city to avoid her domineering father, the pharaoh. Nefer enjoys singing and is a talented artist, but her father does not recognize her gift. Furthermore, Nefer does not want to stay because her father is pressuring her to marry. The phoenix is summoned by means of a magical conduit known as the Stargate. The bird flies out of the portal and into the city in search of a suitable spouse for the princess. Unfortunately, Thut's brother, Sekum, fires a boomerang into the sky, hitting the bird. He passes out and falls onto Thut's roof. Pharaoh believes Thut is the chosen one and has his troops bring him to the palace. Meanwhile, Ed assists Nefer in becoming a singer and convinces her to perform live. This time, Thud backs Nefer's decision to become a singer, and she launches her solo career. Nefer's voice draws millions of fans, and she becomes well-known. As time passes, Nefer's song receives over 10 million views from people all around the world. However, her celebrity comes at a hefty cost because Carnaby discovers her. Carnaby kidnaps her from Ed's house the same night, and Thud decides to save Nefer. Fortunately, Ed learns that the vehicle belongs to Carnaby's museum, and Thud decides to pursue it. When Nefer regains consciousness, she discovers that Carnaby has tied her in the museum. Despite the fact that Thud locates her, Carnaby imprisons him as well. Back at Ed's, Sekum and Ed concoct a scheme to gain entry to the museum. He lets them go, but Nefer and Thud remain profoundly sedated. They eventually come to their senses and leave the museum. Ed assists them in boarding an aircraft to Egypt, and it's evident that Nefer and Thud are in love. They return to the city and continue on with their lives. Despite their feelings for each other, Nefer and Thud resolve to live apart. Back at the palace, the pharaoh greets Nefer with open arms, and everything quickly returns to normal. But things change when they realize Carnaby is following them to Egypt. Carnaby follows them into the city and destroys everything with excavators. Nefer resolves to assist her father in the struggle, but she is unable to overcome Carnaby. He has kidnapped the pharaoh for his show, but Thud arrives just in time. Finally, Thud collects his bravery, re-enters the chariot, and rescues both pharaoh and Nefer fearlessly. Thud believes they have reached a dead end as he attempts to protect Nefer from Carnaby. To save Nefer, he pushes the chariot and falls down the cliff with Carnaby. Nefer believes he is dead, but Thud is able to cling to the rocks, as one would expect from the main hero. Finally, Nefer and Thud decide to marry, and her father accepts Nefer's singing dream. The film concludes on a positive note, and despite the fact that Nefer and Thud did not want to marry, fate brought them together. They are both quite stubborn, and one of the best qualities of their relationship is their ability to comprehend and communicate. Furthermore, their wacky characteristics mesh, allowing them to project their true selves and love one another through thick and thin. Furthermore, Mummies demonstrates that you may overcome your worries and achieve your goals. Whatever happens, life provides you with numerous possibilities to achieve, and you must take the appropriate road to get what you deserve. That's all guys. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe the channel. Hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, 